C'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, goal! Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Saturday, January 15th, our 142nd daily show in a row. Paolo Dybala is one of Juventus' star players. He has scored some vital and beautiful goals for La Signora and is regularly their captain. But he is also regularly unavailable due to a series of low-level muscle injuries. Dybala's contract expires at the end of this season and it looked like the renewal would be no problem and have been agreed with both parties happy with the terms. But it's now reported that the club has decided to change their side of the bargain. Where the agreed salary was reported to be in the region of 10 million euros per season, reports are now suggesting that Juventus are only offering to match his current salary in the region of 7.3 million. That decision seems to have encouraged Dybala to consider running down his deal and moving on in the summer. It's believed that he doesn't want to hurt Juventus and would prefer to move to a club outside of Italy and as a good-looking world-class forward in the prime of his footballing life, Dybala would be a big draw for many clubs across Europe. Dybala has previously turned down a move to Inter, preferring to stay at Juventus. The Inter boss at the time was Antonio Conte, who is casting his eye across Europe for big money names to bolster his plans to make Spurs great again. Dybala would improve any squad in Europe, but his injury record has to be a concern. So for now, Dybala joins the list of star names who are nearing the end of their contract in the summer, and they all seem to be waiting for those contracts to expire in June, rather than move in this window for a lower fee. Summer is going to be interesting. We have a full Serie A programme this weekend and here are the fixtures. Today we have Sampdoria Torino, Salernitana Lazio and Juventus Udinese. Tomorrow we have Sassuolo Verona, Venezia Empoli, Roma Cagliari and Atalanta Inter. While on Monday we have Bologna Napoli, Milan Spezia and Fiorentina Genoa. Calcio Daily is the only daily Italian football podcast. We have no ads, no sponsors, and all of our content is yours for free. We don't make you pay a Patreon subscription just to listen. We're a value-for-value value podcast. You donate what you think the show is worth, and the best way to do that is via the Fountain Podcast app. So, until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying, Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani! <laughs>